it down to listing a product. First, it's important to understand what information is required for each of your channels to list an item. For Amazon, there are two main methods for listing an item. You can list an item with an ASIN, which requires a title, a price, a stock, a condition, and an ASIN. The brand is not required, but is highly recommended. Or, if you have a U UPC or Universal Product Code, uh, then you can use the same title, price, stock, condition, a required brand, and then of course you're going to need that UPC, and you're going to need to add an Amazon subcategory. For eBay, of course, you're still going to need a title, a price, a stock, and a condition, but you're also going to need at least one photo, which must be 500 pixels or larger, and you're going to need an eBay search category, which may come with either mandatory or suggested item specifics. To list a product, we want to go into the navigation bar, click on the product menu, and click on new product. This is going to take us to the add product screen. Once the add product screen is loaded, you will see that the screen is split up into three sections. On the left, you have the section headers. Clicking on any of the section headers will allow you to skip into that section of fields for filling out. On the right hand side, you'll see a list of the channels that you can use to list on. Since today we're only going to be working with eBay and Amazon, we're going to uncheck my second eBay channel. And now we're going to finish inputting all the information in the middle. Today we are going to be working on listing a Vortex 520 aluminum rear sprocket. So we'll go ahead and add a title, a price. We'll go ahead and put in our stock quantity. We'll put in our brand. We'll give it a color. And now, of course, we want to add a condition. In this case, we're going to put in new. Then, because our demo system doesn't use this SureDun SKU generator, I need to add an SKU here. If I wanted to add a UPC, that's also here on this line. Now I want to add my description. You'll see that my description includes some light HTML for formatting. If you don't know any HTML and still want to have formatted descriptions, of course, you can just turn on our rich text editor and format them yourself. Now we're going to go down to our Amazon section. And you'll see that there is some grayed out text in the title and the price. That's actually what we call ghosting. So the title and the price that we filled in in the general section are now being displayed in these fields. If we wanted to provide an Amazon specific title or price, we could simply override the general prices uh, by typing a new price or title into the box. Now, of course, we want to add our Amazon ASIN, which is required for listing on Amazon. So we'll go ahead and add the um, we'll go ahead and add the ASIN value. And as soon as I add the ASIN, you'll notice that the asterisk around the Amazon subcategory has disappeared. That is because it's no longer required. As we go down to the eBay main, once again, you'll see that the title and the price are being ghosted from the general section. We're going to leave our main defaults on. We're going to leave our site ID, our listing type as um, fixed price, and we're going to leave our listing duration default as good till canceled. Now, of course, uh, we are going to um, need an Amazon search category. So we are going to go ahead and type in a description of what we're looking for in the category search box that's going to bring up all of the potential categories in which we could list our product. We're going to select the one we want and you'll see that that's going to automatically fill out the category ID for us. If you wanted to use um, an Amazon subcategory, the search works very similarly. So now that we've added our category ID, of course the next step is to go down to media and add an image. In this case we're going to be grabbing an image from my computer. So we'll go down and search for what we want. We're looking for our vortex images here and of course there's my image folder. I'm just going to grab the image that I'm looking for and that's going to automatically attach. Now if you had this image hosted somewhere on the uh, on the web and wanted to just grab that photo from there. If you have the URL where the image is hosted, then you can simply copy and paste that here into the box and click Add Image in order to import that image to your listing. Now as we scroll down, you'll see that our eBay business policy profiles for shipping and returns 
have already been imported and defaulted into the system. You can go ahead and create business policy profiles uh, in eBay. You'll need to make one for your payments, your shipping, and your returns profiles. Once you've created those in eBay, then you can import those into SureDem and use them as defaults for quick and easy listing. If you need to know how to do so, there's an excellent video in our training guides. Now that we've put in all the necessary information, it's time to list the product. In the bottom right of your screen, you'll notice that you have three options. If you've made a colossal mistake and just want to start again, of course you can hit reset and this all goes away. If you want to come back and finish this listing later, you can select create draft. But since we want to go ahead and send this to our channels, we're just going to go ahead and click on the add button. So while we're waiting for our item to process, I'll just remind you that while eBay will post your new listings right away, Amazon queues all of the listings that they get um, and it may take up to 30 minutes uh, for your listing to process and appear on Amazon. As you can see here, uh, now that the listing has been processed, we've received an error. We're going to need to find out what that error is to uh, figure out what we need to do to make sure the listing went through. So you can find out what the error is by clicking on the notifications button in the upper right hand corner of the navigation bar and as we're reading we see that it's not an error but a warning uh, that we are approaching our listing limit for the month on eBay uh, but this should mean that the listing went through just fine since we don't see any error messages we only see some warnings so just to verify that we'll go back into the listing we'll scroll down to our eBay section and if it was successful yes of course we do see this eBay item ID which has been added above the title. If we click on that of course that'll take us to eBay and show us that our listing was indeed successful. Alright so it looks like everything went through well uh, but now of course you've seen the whole process up to and including how to uh, check for errors if, they're, um, if they appear.